My parents came over to England in the 60s. They came over on boats that took 23 days. I have one knapsack and two big bags. I was stopped being searched by two immigration officers as customs, and I missed my train. <laughs> Saw snow the first time, and then when we went up to my uncle's chippy, Okay, outside toilet, yes, chippy, yes, we're doing potatoes, yes, it's fine. Go to the house, go to the house, go to the house, go to the house, go to the house. The country was a very, very different place. Multiculturalism didn't exist. So when I went to school, I was the only Chinese person in the school for seven years. Bobby Moore, they used to accuse the Chinese of pinching ducks and goose, you know, from the parks and cook them in the restaurant. I mean, it's all hearsay. Typically, they're always busy. <laughs> the phone is always ringing. Each month, there's a long queue outside. So I'm actually on duty 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I don't think chefs can ever really have a proper family life until they start making sacrifices on the work front. But it seemed to make sense to share the childcare, share the work, because architecture versus life and, and work all together. When I taste the food or having her food, I was feeling uh, that's the enjoy, that's the family getting together, that's the mom's love. I didn't set out to find my father, but in doing the research I have, I found him in myself, in my personality. <laughs> Our uh, non-Chinese colleague, they always say that you Chinese, your work ethic is just brilliant. It, it is so good to work with you. You have to be of a certain mindset and mind frame to be freelance, self-employed, because you, you often have money and you often don't. It is not really expensive thing, but if these people bring in something that they make from home and give it to us, we feel that our work is being appreciated. When I work here, I found I extend my families. <laughs> Each time when we have a cultural activity, I always send the invitation to them to keep the friendship with the local people. The best thing of my job is to help people, to communicate with people, to learn more about people and to love people. If you look different, People expect you to act differently, but then you might as well act differently. When my son, when he was young, he told me, his, he, said, he said he's English. I said, no, you're Chinese. He said, mom, no, I'm English, but I just look like Chinese. We try to live side by side and maintain our own identity. It's only through communication that you can gain respect and appreciation for other cultures. You kind of grow up with a kind of um, reservation about your Chinese heritage. and As a parent, you want your children to carry on the Chinese tradition. 
we are what our background makes us to be. If that is a very mixed background, then you become a much more multifaceted person. The British born Chinese, now that's encouraging. I see more and more of them being more politically active and that, that can be only good for, for the community. If you can't bring well-trained, passionate people um, into the country to cook Chinese food, then you can't expect Chinese food to flourish in London. Our service is still required and we must maintain it. I don't want to design a career for my daughter. I, I think that the personal choice is so important. It's, it's your life and I, I, I think that's the most important thing.